Welcome back to Wake Up Charlotte Weekend on this Sunday. We have seen a little bit of everything, a little rain, a little hot weather. It's very much feeling like July. Yes, yesterday was the ninth day in a row that we were 90 degrees or above, which our normal high this time of year is 90. So that's right on cue, but we've also had some of our warmest days of the year so far. So definitely feeling like July here, but hey, here we are. Freedom Boat Club Lake Norman, also a great time of the year to head out on the water. Today will be no different. We are going to see a slightly lower UV index. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't use that sunscreen, but today it is still feeling warm and sticky, if not more humid even than yesterday. Now here's the one two punch because we're seeing more cloud cover today. We're probably not going to be quite as hot. So in terms of the heat and humidity, while the official dew point is up, we probably won't feel quite as toasty as we did yesterday in the mountains. A low pressure system moving by is actually producing some light to moderate rain for portions of Ashwatauga and Avery counties this morning that will really be centered only in the mountains as it continues to pull to the north and northeast. Our mainly rain is going to be driven by a cold front approaching by the second half of the morning. Now, now, as it does so, we are going to be noticing some rain and thunderstorms shifting a little bit further south toward the mountains and foothills as we approach the latter half of the morning. Just after lunchtime, especially closer to 1, 2 o'clock, a lot of this will be moving closer to the Charlotte metro area. Unlike yesterday's rain, that really was the true definition of a pop-up storm. It kind of built and built over time and just sat because there was no driving force to kind of move it to where it needed to go. However, today's rain mostly driven by the cold front, so that's not to say that we won't see some heavy rain over a short period of time. However, it's not going to sit and sit and sit like that cell did for about an hour, hour and a half. Now, while the best chance of rain and storms will be the early half of the afternoon, we will still see some pop-up shower activity possible through the latter half of your Sunday and even some of those thunderstorms. It's not out of the question that they couldn't linger even into Monday morning with some light rain, some really dense cloud cover for early Monday before the front finally looks to push through by Monday afternoon. And as it does so, we're actually going to see some pretty nice weather into the middle half of the upcoming coming week. So while Monday definitely will start out on the stormy side, it will get much better. Now in terms of our localized impacts with the storms today, we really only have one major one, at least one that's associated with defining a severe thunderstorm. For a severe thunderstorm warning to be issued, you have to have either a confirmed tornado on the ground, which we don't have today, quarter size and hail around an inch, which we don't have today, or gusty winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Now, 90% of our wind damage from severe storms or our damage from severe storms comes from wind here in the Carolinas, and that'll be our main risk today. So about a 5% chance of a localized wind gust in excess of 60 miles per hour for most of our area, but we do have portions there of Chesterfield County, Richmond County, and Eastern Anson County under that 15% risk. The way you should think about that is it's about 15 times higher than a normal day or five times higher than a normal day uh, because on a normal day where we have nothing, we have a 0% chance. Now after Monday, again, things will get a lot better. And even though it will be hot, even as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, it's just going to actually feel like the air temperature, the temp you see on the thermometer as the dew point stays nice and low. This will likely continue into early Thursday morning before we really ramp up the humidity as we enter next weekend.